I've just dockerized an application that I have in my GitHub. It's publicly open. I'll link to it down below. I'm not going to go through the dockerization process because I did that in another video. I'll link to that when that's up. So if you want to see the whole process of dockerizing it for production, you can go check that out. This video is not about that. This video is about building. So I'm going to do a build step, just the build step, because I want to compare the build and how long it takes on this Intel machine. This is a 12th generation Intel Core i9 on a Dell XPS 15 machine versus my daily driver. This is the M1 Max MacBook Pro and versus my daily just sitting there box for now until I decide what to do with it. The Mac Studio M1 Ultra. Don't know which one is going to be faster at this, but we're going to give it a shot. So I've already cloned the repository on all three of these machines. I've installed Docker, the latest version. And here's the code. It's an Angular application. It doesn't really matter what it is really, but well, it kind of does. This is going to be building inside of node process. So in that case, yeah, it does matter because that's a single threaded operation, which is a good thing because we want to see how long that takes. Single threaded operation is usually a good indicator of how long things are. So I'm just going to venture a guess here before even running this thing. Here's going to be my guess. Ready? Uh, I'm going to say that the M1 Ultra is going to be slightly, slightly faster than the M1 Max, but they're going to be very close. And I don't know about the Intel machine. Uh, OK, I'm going to say that the M1 Ultra is going to be faster than the Intel machine, too. But really, I have no idea. So let's do this. Here's the project. I have my Docker file really quite simple. All it does is just pull a node 16 image. I'm not going to pull the image as part of the calculation of the build. So don't worry. Image that I'm also pulling down to actually run the web server. And uh, yeah, that's really it. It's a pretty simple command Docker build and that's it. So let's do that here. And I'm going to do that here as well. And just so that we're pretty much the same, I'm going to open up VS Code and do it inside of VS Code. I know there's going to be folks out there that are going to complain that I'm doing this inside of a VS Code terminal. And there's probably also going to be folks that are going to say, well, you're doing this inside of Windows Docker instead of a uh, Docker on Linux or inside WSL. Well, I've got a test coming up where I'm going to compare WSL performance of this to pure Linux on the metal performance. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. But for now, I, I just want to say the difference between Windows running Docker inside Windows and running Docker inside of WSL is negligible. All right, so here we are on Windows Docker build dash T RPS tracker NG. And by the way, this application is just an issue tracking application that I built. And I built this application in a bunch of different frameworks, React View and so on. They're all up on my GitHub. You can check it out. This one is the Angular version and I use this in my courses. All right, so that's two down, one to go. I think we're ready to go. Let's get Schwarzenegger involved in this one, shall we? Because it is kind of a race, isn't it? Oh, and for those of you that don't know, this is the Schwarzenegger that I built. It's a tool for running multiple things at the same time. Just got to line it up and go. <laughs> OK, so that didn't work. And that didn't work because this machine still has to download the node image. So. I'll do this again. Now, while that's doing that, I'm going to explain what's happening. There's a couple of steps here. When you say from node in Docker, that's going to download a new image unless you already have it. If you already have it downloaded it, it's cached. You don't need to download it again. This step right here, run npm install is also a network related step. However, I'm going to bypass that also because those assets are going to be cached as well. But if everything is cached, how are we going to do a build? Well, to do a build, and this is something that Chris Rivera helped me with. He's actually the one that helped me Dockerize this application and that's in the video. All we got to do is just go in here and change a file in our application. Like let's say any file really. I'm going to change that file right there and that's going to trigger a complete rebuild of just the app code. That's what I'm interested in. Alex Ziskin 1 on the Windows machine. Alex Ziskin 2 on this Mac. Let's go with Alex Ziskin um, 3 for this one. I'm so creative ain't I? And we're ready to go. Let's kick things off and go. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, it looks like the uh, Ultra is done. And then the Max is done. And finally, the Intel machine is done. But it is very close. This build step does spit out the time. And you can see that right here, NPM run build for production is actually taking 15.6 seconds on the M1 Max and 14.3 seconds on the M1 Ultra and 16.5 seconds on the Intel machine. And the overall time for the build for all three of these is also reported. This is not just the code build, but the entire process of 
building and preparing the docker container so we've got 17.3 seconds total on the intel machine 15.9 on the m1 max and 14.6 on the m1 ultra i've changed the code a little bit again and let's do this one more time just to make sure and boom hmm yeah it's pretty consistent just for the build step 15.9 on the intel machine 15.7 on the m1 max very close and 14.1 on the m1 ultra so there you have it folks the m1 ultra wins this one because it does have that pretty good single core performance kind of hard to beat that at this time we'll see what the m2s do when they come out next month i'm grabbing that macbook air with the m2 chip to see if it can beat the m1 ultra i don't know if it's going to be able to beat that or not so we'll have to find that out be sure to subscribe to see those tests have a good day folks i'll see you later